All right, guys, this uh, is going to ship out tomorrow. We got the uh, flex plate in the box, the adapter, the starter, and all the uh, the bolts over here. Um, never did I think I was going to ship this thing to where I'm shipping it to, but uh, I found a, met a guy. Uh, he's been talking to him, a really cool guy doing a really cool build, um, doing an older Dodge, but he's swapping a Cummins into it. I think he had a 318 in it originally. Now he's doing a Cummins but he's doing an Allison swap and he's already got an Allison six speed that was imported um, and he, he managed to find it over there. Um, but this is going to Saudi Arabia for a build. Um, real cool build. Can't wait to see this thing get used. Uh, couldn't be happier uh, as far as who I sold it to and what it's going to. Uh, should be really cool. And hopefully maybe uh, once he gets the build kind of a little further along or gets this all put together, maybe we can uh, maybe get a little video of it from him for the channel. Um, but definitely looking forward to seeing this get put to good use. What's up guys? We're back in the garage. We're actually done for the day. Um, I didn't want to put y'all through this whole process again of me putting the engine back in. I did include some time-lapse footage that I'll put in this video, um, but I didn't really want to 
make the whole video about the ninth time that I've had to put this engine in or take it out. Um, hopefully the content will be getting better from here because we're gonna move on. We're gonna start welding up a new transmission cross member, um, putting things together, uh, just doing the stuff that we need to, to do to get this engine running in this chassis. We're getting ready to move on to wiring. Uh, we have the Anteater computer um, for a, from a Firepunk Diesel to shift this new 48R, well, new used 48RE transmission. Uh, we, I'm gonna throw some footage in because I went out and I got the adapter from a guy here where I live, uh, pretty close to me, who just dismantles Dodge Cummins and sells all the parts. Um, so I'm gonna put that in. I'm sorry for the plane flying over. If you can hear that, I live next to a small airport, so that's probably what you're hearing in the background. Um, but yeah, it's time to move on. Engine it is, it is in, final time for mock-up. We'll pull it out one more time where I'm gonna paint everything, send parts off to powder coat, um, and just make it pretty. Uh, paint the whole engine bay, clean the front frame rails, and paint the front frame rails and everything, and just make everything look good on the chassis that I can uh, for now. It may have to come out one more time to, when I do the air ride suspension, but probably not. I'll probably just end up cleaning everything up that I need to clean up from there. Um, so that should be it as far as going in and out. Um, I'll show you, I'll flip the camera around here and I'll show you what I got as far as today went. Um, we got it back on the actual engine mounts down there. If someone could tell me what way those things are actually supposed to go, I have no earthly idea which way I'm supposed to turn those. Um, I know you can turn them different ways to move the engine forward or backwards, but I'm not quite sure if there's a way they are supposed to be turned or I'm just going to do it however it does to make the engine where I want it. Um, we got the adapters and everything back on because we had pulled some stuff off when we were trying to uh, work on it at one point. It's cool, you can see right here how the factory GMC AC lines match up to this factory GMC compressor um, with this uh, Auto World bracket on here. Um, and then also we're using a factory GMC um, alternator with this Auto World bracket. Um, over here, we got the two old transmissions that I need to sell. Um, so hopefully these will be back up for sale soon. I'm probably going to give away this 46RH up here because nobody wants that thing. It's the worst transmission Dodge ever made. Um, so that's probably just going to get given away so I can get it out of the garage. The Allison, I'm going to try to sell for 300 bucks. Again, I don't know if it's a good transmission, so I'm not going to sell it to somebody not knowing whether it's good or not. Um, you can see over here, it definitely needs a new tail housing because this uh, mount is ripped off from whatever accident it was in when it, the truck got hit in the side it broke that mount um, so yeah I'm just gonna sell that thing for like 300 bucks for someone that needs a core uh, or someone that wants to slap a new tail house on there and try to make it work um, over here uh, let me cover up all my information we have the uh, firepunk anteater transmission computer to shift this uh, 48re so we're getting ready to start doing all the wiring we'll get that wired up and get it in the truck but let me flip the camera back around most of all um yeah that's that's just you know we got it back in today it's going to be the last time for mock-up um i just want to quickly address welcome all the new people to the channel uh, i hope you enjoy the content uh, i saw we about picked up 300 subscribers uh due to the harbor freight video I never expected that to do what it did. I never thought Harbor Freight was going to feature my video in an email. I thought maybe they might bump me out on social media, but that has been absolutely insane. We have almost 200,000 views on that video. For the people that came at me saying, hey, there's no way that you could you know, have removed that and installed it in four minutes, you are 100% correct. It takes two hours for me to pull this engine out and get it back in there, usually while mounting up different transmissions. The four minutes was a reference to the fact that I did a time-lapse video in three minutes and 30 seconds, um, which was not even made for Harbor Freight. I did that just for fun to throw a bunch of time lapses together because I had broke my hand and I needed something to fill in the time while my hand was broken. Um, so yeah, don't, don't take the titles of my video too seriously. Um, it, it's, you know, and most of the people that probably did, didn't subscribe to the channel. For the people that did subscribe, thank you so much throw stuff in the comments. I usually always try to answer back. Sometimes it might be sarcastic, most of the time not. But I just wanted to let you know, I appreciate you. I appreciate Harbor Freight for shouting out that video. Um, this is just for fun for me. I don't have enough time to be doing this most of the time as far as 
the work plus the camera stuff but I really want to learn how to shoot better video. I want to learn how to talk better to a camera and I want to learn how to edit better um, as far as the footage goes because I'm hoping to do some better car show footage this year and also maybe do some custom truck features because I have a couple friends that have some really cool custom trucks that we could do some features on. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, thank you so much for subscribing. Um, hopefully we'll move on and we'll have this engine running in no time now that we actually got it in hopefully for the last time um, as far as mock-up goes uh, I am gonna also throw some footage in from when I packed up I sold the Allison adapter which is gonna pay for the new fuel system for the truck um, that is on its way to Saudi Arabia so I'm gonna th throw some footage in there for me putting the video in the box or the adapter in the box to go to Saudi Arabia um, really cool guy in Saudi Arabia that's building a early model Dodge truck with a come and swap with an Allison's transmission. I gave him a really good deal on the adapter to make it worth shipping that far and I cannot wait for him to get it and I can see how his project goes. Um, I love cars. I am so passionate about cars. I've always been into cars since a small child and it's really cool that you can connect with people on the other side of the world that are doing the same types of things and are passionate about the same things no matter what culture, religion, uh, politics, all that stuff goes out the window. If you're passionate about the same things, um, you can make friends all over the world based on what you're passionate about. And I'm looking really forward to seeing him use that part that I had um, and make use of it because I, I do not need it anymore. We're gonna do this. We got this adapter for the, uh, the 48RE and we are going full in on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video and uh, that way I can start working on some editing. Um, welcome to the channel. Like and subscribe if you like the content content you know the normal rigmarole that people always say at the end of a video but mostly y'all guys have a good day um, hopefully y'all can work on some car stuff during this time where with all this crazy stuff going on so have a good day